This next job is a sandblasted job and I have done the design uh, uh, digitally and sent it off and had it made into uh, resists or vinyl which then gets stuck onto the glass. Now the panel's very big and I thought it would be useful to show you how to handle the vinyls. Uh, the first thing you do, which I haven't shown you in the video, is you um, line up your vinyl in the right position on your glass. So you mark uh, center lines on the vinyl, center lines on the glass, and then you create a little hinge uh, at one edge where you've just stuck it all down along one edge. Um, now there is carrying paper on the underneath and the top of the vinyl. And what you can see us doing here is peeling back the carrying paper from the underside of the vinyl. Now the underside of the vinyl is the sticky side. So at the moment we have that underside facing up. And um, what you need to do is, is basically flip the vinyl via the hinge you've created over onto your workbench and start to peel back the carrying paper. Now as you peel it back you'll often find some of the, the, the bits of the resist or the vinyl come away uh, with the carrying paper. So you do it carefully and as you see them coming away you just lift them with the edge of a blade of the carrying paper back onto the resist. Um, I I'm using the words resist and vinyl interchangeably but I believe vinyl is, is thicker than a resist. Um, so this being a very big uh, vinyl I have help and much as I like to do everything myself because I want to do it when I want to do it this isn't the sort of job I could do on my own. Um, so take a bit of time um, at this stage because you only won't get one go at this. Now that the carrier paper is off and the sticky side is revealed, you flip via the hinge the resist down onto the glass. And this is what you only get one go at, and you keep it taut and you keep it straight, and you get someone to help you if it's as big as this. Um, you will find that you'll attract a few bubbles, um, but as you start to weed out the resist, um, they will, um, they will kind of disappear and any that don't either won't matter or you can pop with a pin. Um, so that's the tricky bit really. Um, and the next stage is peeling off the top carrier paper and weeding out. And weeding out is what we call it when we remove the bits of the resist that are going to be sandblasted. Before I take the top carry paper off, I like to use a rubber to um, really press down the uh, resist onto the glass. Um, it, gives me, it just gives me a really controllable, nice firm pressure. Um, and um, yeah, that's what I like to use, but maybe you'll find your own method. So now the moment comes to peel off the top carrier paper um, and so long as you've stuck it down really well onto the glass um, you, 
you won't find this much of a problem. So now comes the weeding out, which means removing the uh, resist um, so you can uh, sandblast it. Um, and I've got my design for reference so that I don't peel off the wrong bit, I don't want the negative. So when I draw, I draw the sandblasted areas in black. So I will remove any resist that corresponds to the black areas on my design. The next thing I do is I just warm up the resist with a hairdryer um, because this will help it adhere really well to the glass and that's just a little tip for whenever you're using resist or um, vinyl. So that's how to handle a resist and stick it down to your glass. Um, in the next video I will um, show you the sandblasting. So thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful.